So in the first case, we will need 10 bits for each of those 10 flips. But in the second case, we don't need any bits because the result of the flip is always going to be the same. You don't even have to send this message. The folks at San Francisco will already know what is the result of those 10 flips. So realize what we discovered here. If the output of this coin is predictable, you don't need to communicate anything. But if the output is random, you need to communicate the result of each and every flip. So more information has to be transmitted. If the sequence is predictable, or it has less uncertainty, then it has less information. Shannon described this measure as entropy. He said, if you had to predict the next symbol in a sequence, what is the minimum number of yes or no questions you would expect to ask? In the first example, you have to ask a yes or no question for every coin flip. So you have to ask at least one question for every flip. In the unfair coin, you don't have to ask any questions. So the information in the second case is zero, while the information is in the first case is one. Let's consider another example to understand this better. 